Oh, culip. No, 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 no. It's pronounced clip and not culip. Clip. Clip is Africa's number one NFT platform. This means it's passionate about valuing, distributing, and adding utility to African art through NFTs. Think about owning a piece of your favorite African art, ranging from music, movies, visual arts, literature, fashion, and so on. The key word is ownership. NFTs make it possible for anyone and everyone to have proof of ownership and tokenized value. Imagine owning the original copy of WizKid's track, Essence, as an NFT, which will definitely increase in value as his career advances. There are other use cases of NFTs in issuance, certification, tokenization, and sales of research materials. Clip is the NFT platform for the African continent. So musicians, filmmakers, fashion brands, and many more can have their art or product representation on the blockchain and also create a new chain of utility, income stream and experience for their fans and brand loyalists. Prior to Clip, a lot of NFTs did not go beyond staking and display, which led to a superfluity of NFTs in the market with no real use cases and no real demand. What if NFTs could actually be used as ticket passes or redeemable coupons for merchandise of artists? No NFT platform currently exists to serve the African arts industry. 90% of the platforms that exist are European or American centric. In a few years, NFTs will be to creators and brands what the internet is to businesses. For example, it's only a matter of months but music artists will need NFT strategy and branding to go with their music distribution. So here's how Africans can get in early on Clip and NFTs. Create value and tokenize it on Clip. There is a team to help artists go through this process. Anathon, redefining learning.